Welcome guys to another episode of Face to Face. I'm Josh here, your host. Thanks for joining us today. So, this is Face to Face, one of the only programs on Venus TV that is full English. We're so glad you guys can join us. And today, we have someone from the Venus International English Club, Venus English Club, that is going to talk to us about English. So, welcome Andre Chandra, man. Thanks so much for being here. Hi there, thank you. Andre, before we get started, would you mind introducing yourself to our viewers? Uh, sure. Uh, hello guys, my name is Andre. I'm currently active in BNEC for two years in the talent division, debate competition talent division. So yeah, I have been here in two years. It's kind of exciting in BNEC. I'm, and I'm not from around here. I'm from Surabaya and it's kind of welcoming in BNEC. Welcome to Jakarta then. Thank Andre, you. you've been here, you say two years, yeah? yeah. So, BNEC, Venus English Club. Sure. Tell me about the club. BNEC is, well, first time, first time it, it was built, it was built to cater all people who want to learn English more, who want to develop themselves in English, but currently it helps as a platform for us to develop ourselves in a lot of skills, like people who want to learn organi organizational skills, they can learn here, people who want to debate like me, they can learn here. People who want to learn about public speaking, they can learn here. They can learn a lot. We are now open platforms for people to go corporate so they can uh, introduce themselves to a lot of companies. And yeah, we've been, we've been winning a lot of awards in these back years, in these years. Wow, so a lot of accomplishments. And it's not, when, when, I, when people hear English club, they might think, oh, they're just talking in English all the time. That's boring. But it's not just talking in English, because you guys, yes, you help each other develop, but you really do something like you say, you join competitions and you're doing workshops, public speaking. Exactly. And it's something that's uh, beneficial for the future, right? And Venus Bin is really good in business. We have a lot of business sure. majors and mm. everybody's studying to be in business. And I think learning English is a great tool, right, to, uh, to, be and to enter into the international business world. What do you think about that? That's the point. Like what you said, learning English is important through but that's not the point. Mm -hmm. The point is to develop yourself, to learn about anything you want, you think it's important for your future. So like me, I think critical thinking is important for me and therefore I join debate. People, a lot of people think they need orga organisa organizational skills, they need soft skills, they need how to communicate with people and therefore they join the organisa organizational committee. A lot of people doesn't re really see the need of that. They just want to be competitive. They want achievements. They go for the talent division. We are open to, for everyone who have that kind of spirits. And by English, we can help them develop that. We can help them achieve anything they want. That's awesome, man. Can you tell, so you said organizational. Tell me about the Venus English Club as the organization. The, as as an organization, yeah. Mm, well, we have a lot of divisions. Some uh, such example is public relations, company company relations. We handle public events. We handle company. We handle uh, relations with companies such as sponsorships and etc. Well, we hand. For me, I personally, uh, I personally mm, understand well that talent division, especially debate. We have one manager and all debaters inside. It's kind of, they are all good people. They are very motivating. They are helpful inside. And yeah, each year we organize, to, uh, we organize an international event called AEO, Asian English Olympics. Last year, we held national scales for high schools, the NEO. National English Olympics. It was our first time, and yeah, it w last year these two competitions was a success. And that's that's really great, man. Because you guys, uh, so the, one of the things that you do is competitions. Yeah. You say there's a debate competition, mm -hmm. and before we started, we were talking about the different kinds of competitions that all the universities hold. A lot of English competitions. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what are some of the things that you can compete in in these English competitions? You can compete in a lot of things, like. Spelling, spelling bee, mm -hmm. speech, debate, obviously. And then we have newscasting too, for people like Josh, who <laughs> are 
very well managed yeah. in this kind of skills. <laughs> Mostly that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know the one at my campus in this mm -hmm. nine campus. They have Scrabble competition. Yes. Have you done one of those before? Oh, I have seen people who done those. They are, they are great. I I don't have that much vocabulary in my head. And they like they, they, they It's not just one round of Scrabble. They play like hours and hours of. Scrabble. They play like. Two days, three days Amazing. in a competition. Wow, that's cool. So, so you guys, okay. So that was the competitions, and then these these company connections. Tell me about those. How how do you from from the organization or why and how do you guys contact companies? We do contact uh, a lot of a lot of kinds of companies from the SMEs, the small medium enterprises, like the food stalls you see around Binus. We do corporate relations with them. We make discounts for those who help BNEC card, and then we do approach the big, uh, the big companies, such as for sponsorship for the AEO or the NEO, or like mm, we can introduce our people, our members to them. We can introduce our uh, members for scholarships or internships for this kind of companies. That's the kind of company relations BNEC help each year. And I th it's really great that you guys have that experience to mm -hmm. talk and do business with actual organization. It's such a really great skill that you're developing. Yeah. And I'm sure that's that's kind of nerve-wracking for some of the newcomers. How do you guys train them? How do you develop them? Well, we obviously will introduce them for, to professional skills from the baby step. What is th this baby step? It's the BOM, uh, board, of mem board of Members. We train them to health events, we train them to do uh, jo their jobs that mimics the jobs they will have in the companies. For example, if you are in a public, public relations division, you can at least have the glimpse of what needs to be done if you are doing social media marketing or public relations. So you, so you just get a little, a little touch into that? That, or that, that responsibility. You can get that little touch of yeah. responsibility inside the BOM whenever you help events or you do uh, daily basis inside the BNEC. All right, well, mm. that's so cool, man. BNEC sounds a really good club. And I definitely want to talk about more about this English thing. So guys, stay tuned and we'll come back after the commercial break. <laughs> Welcome back to Face to Face. Josh here with Andre from Venus English Club. We're talking about the club, the organization that does a lot than just talk in English. They go in competitions. You guys have company connections. Really great to develop a lot of skills and just prepare for the business world, right? Sure. So tell me, what makes, what, what, how do you believe BNEC is different from the other organizations on campus? Well, the first time I came in Venus, the first thing that BNEC people come to me and they, the first thing they said is we are the only organization who can win yearly best of the best Hello. organizations what? in Venus University okay, okay. in yearly basis. Wow. That was the first thing. Other than that, I, do, I didn't know anything about BNEC at all. Mm. So it was a half-blind decision to, for me to join. I do not know debate at all. Even my English sucks back then. But then I joined. Finally, I joined. I met a good community. I met a good system. Mm -hmm. That's the point. I don't feel like I chose the wrong organizations for me. That's awesome, man. So, like, same with me. Like, hearing about these debate things, like, it's like mm -hmm. I don't know how to debate, right? And I and I see those things, and they're mm -hmm. pretty pretty intense, right? Uh, what, tell me about those awards. So awards and achievements you guys win every year, right? Tell me what, what you guys have accomplished and achieved. Okay, disclaimer, I can't tell you about anything. Uh, every achievement BNEC has, because it's going to be lots. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's go. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you from my division, from my debate division. Last year, 
well it's this January actually we go to Dutch for World University Debating Championship wow we send two teams this is the first time Binus sends two teams for this usually we send one and both of them got their own achievements the first teams got the ESL English for second language semi-finalist the second we got the EFL, English for Foreign Language Finalist. Okay, so the selling point of Venus is join the club and you get to go travel the world. You can go travel the world. A lot of it will be subsidized. Oh man, oh so <laughs> free travel. That's Almost. awesome. All right, so wait, when was this? When did you guys go there? It was in December, last December. Just this past December. This tell me about December. that trip. Tell me about it. So you guys, before you won some awards, like tell me about the trip. Like what'd you guys do? Disclaimer: I don't join them. Oh, you didn't join Unfortunately. them. Unfortunately. Oh, bummer. Next one. Next one. I know. I know, right? Well, they have fun in there. They have their own excursions. They have fun. They have a lot of fun debatings. Well, fun. Fun debating. Okay. It's it's kind of hard for them too. They fight hard there. It's. But the work, the most, the heaviest of all, is the preparation. Yeah, it's like three months of intense wow. training. Wow. We train every day, like from 7 p.m. to like 10 or 11 p.m. Okay, what 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 goes into training? What, how how what, how do you prepare for a debate? How do you train for a debate? Mostly, we, from our coach, we get motions. What we debate on today, that night. We prepare our case for 30 minutes, we debate that day, and then we evaluate what is missing from our speech, what is missing from our cases, and then we go home, free case. We type all of that evaluate evaluation, we type all of that case for the next day. That's awesome. That's really it's, cool. Man. That's intense. Man. It, it does sound intense, and I think that's, like you said, that's what makes you guys different from the other clubs. You, you guys know. work hard, and you get achievements, I know. and you get to travel the world. So yeah. all pluses. So definitely, the people that are watching, they want, they, they should definitely join the club, right? Sure. Uh, and you guys meet, you say every day, mm -hmm. and uh, almost every day. Almost every day. So uh, other than the international competition, you mm -hmm. guys have a lot of domestic, uh, yeah. local competitions as well. Of course. Uh, we, we, I asked you like all the all the universities, all the major universities, mm -hmm. they have these English competitions like mine, they have the Ecom. E uh, you guys have AEO. We, ha we Tell have me about AEO. What's the other ones? The most, the biggest, the biggest competitions in Indonesia is probably ALSA UI and ALSA UNPAD. It's held by the Association of Law. They held English competitions, so there's gonna be Scrabble, Speech, Spelling Bee. There's gonna be debate, obviously. It, it's done annually and it's a big competition here. Have you participated in those competitions as well? Well, I don't. I don't really debate. Mm -hmm. I adjudicate. Mm. So my role in this debate division is mostly judging. Oh. judging these people. That's obviously. cool. All right, all right. So oh man, I've and judged in Al Saudi before. You have. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Again, not not only do you, it's not just a little club organization. You guys have partnerships and you do competitions with other universities. Yes. Right, and there's money prizes for these things, right? Obviously. I, I used to MC for Ecom, and there's some big money prizes, like millions of millions of rupiah. Same goes with AEO. Right? Right. Oh man, that's so cool. Again, all you have to do is just speak English, learn how to debate a bit, and you guys can win money. It's like what I told in the last segment, right? Uh, we can cater for anything you want. Like, if you want, if it's money that you want, you can do it here. I love it. I know, right? See, it's a benefit, learning English. And everybody has, I mean, everybody so far has some sort of English. Mm -hmm. And the only way to get better at it is to practice. And the way to practice is to talk to people in English. Nah. I know some people are like, oh, it's, I'm not good enough. But really, you're not gonna be good until you practice, right? And I sure. think that's what you guys can do. Nah, that's the point. From what I learned in debate, there's nobody that come to us and they are smart at the first time. Mm. They, for me, it's, it takes me like one year and a half probably for me so I can judge other debaters so I can go adjudicating. And that's, I mean, that's, that's mm -hmm. again, everything just takes time Every, and practice. Everything takes time. All right, well, we're gonna come back in a short break and we'll talk a bit more, so guys, stay tuned.
Welcome back to Face to Face. I'm here with Andre from Venus English Club. We're talking about Venus English Club and just how you know you guys people there can develop their English and they get to travel. Sure. That's it. That's my. That's the thing I'm taking away. Is you join the club, you learn how to debate, you get to travel the world. Of course. For free. So before we move on, we're gonna play a quick game, Andre. You sure. ready to play a game? So we're gonna. I'm gonna show you some photos, and if you can guess what it mm -hmm. is. Your way. Sure. All right, so let's take a look at the first photo. What do we got on the screen? What do you think that is, Andre? Elephant, I guess. Let's take a look. It's not elephant, it's a rhino. But that's okay. Good guess. Next photo. What is that? What do you think that is? Some kind of. Is that nut or boat? Nuts yeah. and boats, yes, but what is it from? What do you think it is? A boat, a ship, a boat. probably. You're gonna, he's gonna guess a boat. It is a... It's a fat guy. <laughs> it's kind of like a boat. I know, right. I'm sure it, it goes through the water when it's flooding. All right, <laughs> next photo. Okay. What is that? Who do you think that is? Barack Obama. Barack Obama? Wow. <laughs> Good work. He just has those Finally. eyes. He just has those eyes that you just know it's Barack Obama. Next one. Okay. Where, what do you think that is? Okay, I'm sucks at this. Ah, it's Colosseum. The Colosseum room. Have you been there? No. Nope. Where have you traveled in the world, by the way? Well... I never, but I will. Yeah, I and you got English, man, so that's always good. So, Andre, BNEC, a little exciting club to be part of, something that everybody, if they just want to achieve awesomeness and go travel the world, you know, they can definitely be part of. So tell me about what's what's in the future. I mean, you've been, this is your fourth semester. Yes. And you've been it in this organization for two years. So mm -hmm. you've got two years. Two, I'm sorry. Three years, two, three years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me about what's what, what, where do you hope to go? Well, with BNEC. For me, I just want to go around the world first. Yeah, you do. That's right. <laughs> See, that's the selling point. Is going around I, the world. But secondly, I cannot deny that there's a lot of challenges, a lot of problems that we face. Like, for example, in debate division, we are facing challenges on how to, how to create regeneration mm. for the next year the structural system, how to make a better system for these children, for the next debaters. It's a challenge we want to face, but for me, I hope for the future, BNEC can manage this kind of problems. We can have better regenerations, not for just debate, but for all divisions, because regeneration, I believe it's kind of important in every organization, right? Mm -hmm. That's the first. And second, well, I just hope we, we won yearly basis. Keep winning, man. And it seems like you guys are doing good so far. Yeah. Um, and I know, and that you guys are taking this to the high schools as well, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's great that you are, and I think that's where the rejection can come from is by showing the high schools, hey, you guys can be a part of this organization. You guys can travel the world. Again, that's the selling point. You don't have to say anything else. Just say you get to travel the world, right? Um, sure. and, and you get to travel not just the world, but the, the, the local universities. Mm -hmm. You get to meet other people make new friends, you know, and sure. this these four or five years in university are such the times that you just want to get, seep everything in. You want to meet as many people as you want. You want to get as many experiences. Yeah, right? true. And for you, so we talk about future BNEC. What about for you? What's in the future for you, Andre? Well, for me. You are IT and mathematics. Yeah, sure. Major, amazing. I'm IT, I'm mathematics, and I still do debate. And you debate. Well, but. For me, I, I have benefit. I have benefited a lot from debate. I've met a lot of communities, debating communities from UI, from mm -hmm. UGM. It's kind of fun for me, and I believe I can exp uh, not exploit. I can capitalize these connections. Like I can do something big. I still don't know what is that. But I can. I still believe I can do something big for me. Oh, dude, that's awesome! And you have so much time, and you're and you're doing great. You know, you're getting involved, and you do. And I, I, I wish you the best, man. Like you can really take this far, and I hope. And when you when you go travel, uh, you know, you can definitely use your English. You know, and you're not just some tourist that doesn't know what he's talking I about. Know, right. 
and and keep please keep developing the next generations keep looking for those people because i know they're just shy you just need to go find them be like hey come join right and you can train and continue mm. in your debating as well sure. good luck with that thank you and because you're not just going to be an educator you're like you're going to be you want to be on the debate team as well right let's see okay that's so cool andre all the best for you any any, any last words for any future bne seers well for me the best thing I can say is nobody starts perfect, nobody starts smart, nobody starts with a good English. Just come here with a passion and if you are that passionate enough, we could help you develop yourself. That's it. Wow, that's so awesome. That's good, man. Thank you for sharing that with our viewers. Andre, thank you for being on the show today, man. Great to have you here. And you guys, if you want to develop the English, you want to go travel the world, join BNEC. They meet every day. You guys can check out Andre. And good luck for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching Face to Face. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.